Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I just completed my first flight with the DJI uh, Air 2S. Very impressed with it. Uh, went out over the canyon and, and just shot in 4K 30 frames per second. Uh, I want to take it up again. I want to do, I've got another battery loaded up here and uh, I want to shoot in the 5.4K uh, max resolution and see how that looks. And then let's get it out over the canyon and uh, let's take some pictures with it. I want to try some pictures and maybe some panoramas. And uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at that. So uh, give me just a second and we will get this bird in the air. Hey, okay, we've got the drone fired up and uh, it's telling us that it's ready to take off. But of course, we want to look at the safety menu. Uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at that. So on the safety menu, uh, max distance is unlimited. Return to home where we're at here, 50 meters is more than enough. Compass is normal, IMU is normal, and we can take a look at this battery as well. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're good on, the, uh, on the, all those on the uh, battery. So let's go back, and I wanna see where we're sat here. We wanna, I wanna put it on bypass. So yeah, so here's where we can go back up to that uh, 5.4K. So we're gonna set it at 5.4K, that's gonna be cool. Everything else is in automatic. We're gonna be shooting in 5.4K. So uh, I like the way DJI, that, they've, that, that really makes it simple, those little sliders to, uh, to change all your specifications there. Uh, so I'm going to start recording now. And you can see it says auto focus is on, which is, which is what I want. No reason not to take off. So let me get out of your way so you can see the drone. And let's hit takeoff on the app. And DJI asks that you go up, I believe about seven meters or so to let the drone take a look at its landing area. So that's what we're doing. We're going straight up. Yeah, that's about seven meters. So we'll let it sit there for a second and get a good look. And we'll see if we can get a precision landing when we come back. Uh, and then in the meantime, let's, that should be long enough. Let's bring it down. And it comes down pretty quick and yaw it around. And let's rock it back and forth. You can see that big uh, one inch camera or one inch uh, sensor on that camera. and the. It, the, uh, it seems to be working well. So I'm going to uh, do a, a, our usual droney here, but this time let's throw it in sport mode and let's see if we can really get this baby to rip. So uh, reverse and up now, reverse and up. Holy cow, they weren't kidding. Let me drop the camera down there. Uh, I got to tell you, I got to give credits to my friend uh, Mike DiCurcio and Matt Cundiff. They told me to do that. Uh, and yeah, it really, uh, man, that baby takes off. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like a sport bird when you do that. Oh, man, that really ripped. Uh, I got to admit, I was uh, a little bit shaky on the sticks there and... Uh, yeah, anybody that, uh, that'll startle you a little bit, so make sure you're prepared for that. Okay, so let's go out here, and again, we are in sport mode, and let's try that gimbal out, see if we can get that gimbal to kick, and it's not, so that's an improvement that DJI made with this guy. One of the, one of the complaints about the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro, and I remember initially on the Mavic Air 2, is that in sport mode, it would kick down that gimbal uh, so that it, it wasn't obstructed by the, uh, uh, the, by the top of the drone body. So I'm moving us out here uh, to a spot where maybe we can take some pictures. Let's, uh, we might as well get down here and get a little, get, get a little bit more scenic while we're, while we're moving the drone. Uh, up river is actually the direction that we're going. Get a good look at the uh, at the side of the uh, canyon there, and you can hear above me. I'm sure you could probably hear it. There's ravens uh, squawking above me. I'm sure this is probably nesting season, so I'm sure that might have something to do with that. 
So let's move this guy out over the canyon. This thing is, man, in sport mode, you know, I've been flying the Mini. This guy uh, is definitely faster, particularly in sport mode like we are now. And of course, today is just a beautiful day to fly. So I'm gonna pick that gimbal up just a tad. Not quite the, a third there, but I think that looks a little better. Let's move sideways a little bit more. And uh, I am going to stop recording. And let's go into, uh, uh, take, take some pictures here. So I'm gonna click on the little film strip there on the right hand side. And I'm gonna click on photo. And uh, I, well, you know what? We'll try a regular uh, photo and we'll try a smart photo. So there is a picture and let's go back in there again and let's go to smart photo. Now smart photo, what that does is it en enhances it uh, computational photography, it figures out the, the, the way to get the best colors and the best look in your picture. For a guy like me, it works really good. So let's try that. And we'll see how that looks. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and yaw around the other direction. And we can do the same thing looking downriver. And this will be more with the sun at the camera's back uh, when we face the other direction here. Down to 75% battery. Man, I'll tell you what, I just, I never get tired of this view. That is just so awesome. So again, uh, this first one, uh, is, well, let's do just like we did the last time. We're just gonna go into regular photo mode. And by the way, I have everything set in auto. Uh, so what you're seeing is what the, uh, what the drone, the camera on the drone thinks it should set everything at. So there is a picture just in single mode. Then we'll go back in there and we'll put it in smart photo. And we'll take the same picture. And uh, I hopefully can set them side by side on the screen uh, so that you guys can see them. So uh, as long as we are here, let's go back in there. And uh, I think we can scroll down here and maybe do uh, some panos. Let's try some panorama shots. Uh, so I'm not going to do a sphere, uh, but let's let's do the 180, uh, the wide angle, and the vertical. So here is a 180. You know what? Before we do that, we we've, we've we've taken these kind of pictures from this. Uh, spot from that spot before. Let's do something a little different. I think in this clear through, let's go back. We're going to go back into uh, uh, video mode. And let's start video. And again, we're at that 5.4K. We're going to bring it back to us. And uh, I'm going to get the uh, get the drone out kind of in front of where we are standing here and let's uh let's see if we can do some of those panos we've we've taken a lot of panoramas from that perspective on the river before so heck it's time to do something a little different and you can see i'm kind of uh moving the the camera in a little different uh different way than maybe we've done in the past Uh, uh, you know, coming up on the uh, on the drone here and just uh, looking at it in a little different angle. And I'm kind of focused on uh, getting it lined up in front of dedication point here. And that is where this, again, yeah, no, we can't, I, I just tried zooming in uh, 5.4K and you can't do it. Okay, so that is facing right about where we're standing here on the, uh, you can see the trails there coming in. So let me center it up just a little. And uh, let's just, let's try some panoramas from there. So we're gonna stop recording. Go click on that film strip again. 
go back uh, to the bottom here into pano and let's do a 180 first let's just see what this uh, what this one inch sensor can do and if it's any different than what I've uh, experienced with the uh, well the the Mavic 2 zoom uh, and the uh, uh, Mavic Air 2 Wow, it's, it's taking a bunch of pictures, so this should look pretty good. Pretty cool that uh, we're going to get kind of both ends upstream and downstream of the, uh, of the river in this thing, so this should look really good. And it's stitching it together. You can look at that white ring going out the on the red record or shutter button on the side. And when that's complete, you know that it's got it all stitched together and all done. And there, so it's done. So we're going to click back on the little pano symbol again, right above the shutter button. This time, let's do wide angle. Next one down. We're going to click start. And that should look pretty good too. It should take a bunch of pictures here. I am always just amazed by the technology they build into these uh, these drones. So it's about got that stitched together. And there we are. So let's go ahead now. The last one we want to do is a vertical. So click on vertical here. And we're going to click start. That should take just a second. Boom, nothing to it. And now it'll stitch that together and looks like it's got that done. So uh, so let's go back in there and uh, let's uh, go back into uh, video mode and start it back up. And uh, let's see if we can just get some little different video today. So again, we're in sport mode, so, but we're up there where we're really not going to need any uh, obstacle avoidance. There's nothing up there for us to hit. Uh, so we're in good shape. Let me see if I can angle it towards us here. There we go. And uh, boy, that drone is coming and I'm going to try and drop the gimbal down as we go over. There we are. And then let's pick it back up. And there we are, uh, that's up the trail that you walk down to get here. And you can see there's still a car there at the parking spot, but I haven't seen those people. I, I don't know. Boy, I'll tell you what, this thing, is a, this thing is a beast in sport mode. It's fun. I'm having a blast. So I'm anxious to see how this, uh, again, when, when I get the SD card off, uh, how this video is going to look. And that drone is hauling the mail. We'll move back over the canyon here. And again, let's see, we're down to about 36% battery, so we'll fly until she, uh, until she goes into uh, return to home. And we'll let it come back to us, and we'll see if we can get that precision landing. Here is the edge of the canyon. Let's drop the gimbal down as we get there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, well, is that cool or what? Uh, yeah, I'm sure everybody wants to bring an FPV drone out here and dive that thing, huh? Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, Mike DiCurcio, uh, Billy Kyle, Ken Dono, any of you guys with that FPV drone uh, want to come out here and fly that, uh, come on, I'll bring you out here. So, you know, often we don't go out here to this opposite side of the canyon, so let's, let's just do that. Let's go full tilt forward here, and, and, and you know, the speed just kind of makes it fun, quite frankly, you can get there 
uh, pretty quick. We're down to 27% battery, and you can see we're almost in the uh, yellow zone. There it goes. It's going to tell us it wants to come home any minute now. Yeah, so we're just going to let it do that. Oh, strong wind warning. Well, we're right at that. We're just going to let it come home. And it's coming home. And it's not wasting any time. Let's get that, let's bring that gimbal down a little bit. That's kind of interesting. So, uh, just for reference, where the drone was out there that we got that wind warning just then is kind of at that corner of the canyon where it makes a curve. And you know, you get to get the Venturi effect through the canyon, even though we don't, we've got pretty mild winds here. Uh, evidently there was enough of that Venturi effect up there that, uh, that it definitely affected the drone and threw us that wind warning. But as you can see, the drone handled it just fine. There were no issues there. And it's coming back to us again. I, I, even though I have it in sport mode, it comes back at about 12 meters per second. So I flipped it back into normal here. And I, again, uh, I, boy, I sure wish that they would set this up so that you could yaw the drone when it's in return to home. And again, DJI, gosh, I wish you'd give us an option to shut off the beeping on return to home. That would be helpful. Let's drop that gimbal down as we get closer here. Let's see if we can see. I, you know, I can't necessarily see it on the FPV screen, but once we look uh, at the, on the SD card, we may be able to see some, uh, some birds flying in and out of their nests there on the side of the canyon. Mostly ravens usually is what you see. And we'll drop that gimbal down as we get closer. And let's see if we can get that precision landing this time. We gave it a good look. Uh, at its landing zone and it's up there at its return to home height it says 51 meters we have return to home set at 50 meters uh, it looks pretty darn close just from what i can see at that height so but let's let it come down and as we get closer it'll start zeroing in here and if it doesn't we will cancel the landing yeah and i don't think you know what Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Last minute. Well, I was getting ready to cancel. And uh, so it's moving over a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to call that a win. We got, uh, we've got uh, two legs off the pad and two on. So let me see if you, yeah, you saw that on, on the uh, GoPro there. So yeah, we're good to go. Let me, uh, let me get this guy shut down and, uh, and we'll do a quick conclusion and kind of talk over what we saw. And oh yeah, I'm going to remember to shut off video here. So stop recording on the app. And uh, yeah, let me get everything shut down. Okay, everybody, uh, we did a little flight in our Porsche 928 here, or 911, whichever you think it looks more like. I think it looks more like the 928 because you remember the 928 when its headlights uh, were not up, they were kind of flat like they are on this, but uh, but but this hump kind of reminds you of a fender on a 911. So you know maybe a little bit of both, but I think it's cool that it looks like a Porsche. Uh, in any case, uh, I think this flight was more fun than the first flight I did with it because uh, we had it in sport mode most of the time, and and we did uh, we did our drony in sport mode. Uh, which again, I want to shout out uh, Matt Cundiff and Mike DiCurcio, Philly Mike. They both told me about that and said, you've got to try it. So, uh, so I did. And yeah, it's everything they said it was. Uh, and in fact, yeah, you probably saw me wiggle there. I got a little nervous on the sticks when, when it took off so fast. Uh, but in any case, we went out over the canyon. We tried some pictures. We tried both regular and smart pictures. Uh, hopefully, we, you'll see a difference. I know I've seen a difference in the past, so I'm anxious to see what they look like with this one-inch sensor. I'm sure they're going to look really good. And then, of course, we did the uh, the 5.4 uh, video, and, uh, and yeah, just kind of flew the guy around and had some fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because I, I got to tell you, I just had a blast. Uh, in any case. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out.
And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we will see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Air 2S. Uh, man, just nothing but fun right here, folks.